Hit the record button. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Chuck Shaduck, the Digital Duck. We're going to take a walk around with Monica Anderson, who's a great new friend of mine that I found online because of this guy over here to my right, left, or wherever the heck he's at, Ron Thompson. You introduced me to Monica, did you not? Yes, I did, sir. And we got a great friend of ours, Tom, below. You see the gentleman driving the car, Monica? Oh, yeah. His name is Thomas Doan, and he pops in every day now. I've been here for three days. Every day he pops in, and we ride with him to work. And he, cool. Yeah, and he's really great on these phones. He's turned us all onto the phone. So yeah, I understand you're going to walk us around where you're at and share with where you're at. Okay, do I got to point the phone at what I'm sharing? You can. You can. No, actually, you can hit the little button on your phone and turn your camera around just by hitting the camera on your phone. Am I right, Tom? Yeah, it's on record. Is there a little button on there, Tom, that she can hit to turn it around so we can see what she's showing on her camera? Yeah, she um, taps the screen right there next to the top left corner is a, is a little camera. It has a little uh, circle around it. Yeah. That's, that's the um, switch, switch cameras. Yeah, it'll take you from the camera looking at you to the camera showing you. Ah! Bingo! We just saw your kitchen, darling. <laughs> you hit the right button. Okay. There you go. Now, take us around for a walk. By the way, we are recording, but introduce yourself, my dear. Okay, my name is Monica Anderson, and I am from Carleton, Minnesota, which is up north. And right now, I'm at my brother's house down in uh, Chicago City. Cool, cool. What's outside? What's the land around you look like? Well, that's where we're headed right now. I came down here. He's putting a tire on my motorcycle. Ah, and you ride a Harley, don't you? You bet I do. Ah, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I love it, I love it. She's going to take us for a ride on her Harley one day, guys. I guarantee you. Yeah, I am. Now that it's nice and safe for me. I'm going to strap it to your helmet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow, looky here. That's nice and beautifully manicured and everything. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Well, okay. These I two people, they, ah. they're, empty, they're empty nesters. So, you know, they got a little more time these days. Yeah, really. And Tom just said, hey, it looks like something he's done a little bit better than what he's done maybe or something he did himself. Yeah. Have you been there already, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish. Yeah, it looks beautiful, though. Here's somebody's well, boat. Go ahead. Here's somebody's boat. Yeah, a little fishing boat there. Yeah. yeah. Everybody likes a little fishing in some Budweiser. I don't know about you guys, but I'd like that. Oh, yeah. Well, they, they have a, a cabin up by Lake Vermilion, which is up north, and it's a lot like Canada up there. Uh-huh. So, so, and I'm just going to show you this tree. It's a willow, and oh, it's yeah. like... Weeping it, willow. Weeping it's willow. We used to have those at my house. Yeah. yeah. I it's well, like a Peter Pan wonderland in there, man. Yeah, yeah. Those are beautiful. The only problem is you've got to plant them somewhere near water. Yeah. Or they won't make it. But they will. They, we used to hide behind all them branches hanging down and stuff. I know. Oh, it was a hiding fort. I think that is cool as hell. <laughs> it is beautiful in there. I was amazed. I would have liked to live there one. as a kid. Oh, yeah. That's a big weeping willow, too, isn't it? It yeah. is. Wow. That baby's that baby's got some age on him. Wow, and and a... here I, I'm going to turn it sideways so everybody can see. This is their house and one garage. Place. Beautiful. And another garage. He's got lots of toys, you know. So. Hey, big fellas, toys. We got to have more room for some toys, don't we, guys? Oh, that... well, who's the pup? And, and this is Bruce. Hey, Bruce, how you doing, fella? I'm he's got you. a bit of a, of a hearing problem. He's 11. <laughs> ah, he's still trotting away, though. Oh, yeah. He sure is. Wow, wow, wow. That's a beautiful place. And, and tell us again where, exactly where you're at. I'm in Chisago City, which is down by Minneapolis. Minnesota world. We're in the Minnesota. Minnesota, Minnesota the Minnesota Vikings. 
Minnesota. Oh, yeah. Do we have to go there? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll leave that back there by the dog. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> There's another weeping willow in the background. Wow. A pond? They did have a pool here, and they just took it out because it was... It was hey, wonderful like, raising kids, but they've decided they don't want the maintenance on it. So, man, tell they, them I got a do job. They call, do they call uh, Minnesota pop? Pop? <laughs> do they? Do they call soda? No, we don't say soda. <laughs> we say pop. Yeah, Min mini pop. <laughs> I know, I know. That's just the lay. Just from a couple of states away, the difference. I know. So, I. I'm telling you, it's like you guys in New York. You know who you guys are talking about, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, this is a beautiful walk around. Where else do you get that but peoplehelpofpeopleclub.net? Anybody well, else? I love that video you guys made. That was excellent. I'm telling you, it is so, uh, it's so rewarding to know that we're actually reaching out around the world. Not only that, you guys, but it is absolutely so simple. People helping people, being there, connecting, connections. Yes, yes. Sometimes people just like to hang out and walk around your backyard with you. <laughs> Isn't that yeah. right, Ron? That, that's right, and that's beautiful, you know. And we get to share that in just about every country in the world, you know. I mean, and eventually we're going to be in every country. Exactly. Well, yeah, that'll be awesome. Yeah, yes, exactly. Well, we Let's have... We have friends what? all around the world right now that we have wow. met through this. Look at that big old fishing pond. Oh, yeah. Just a pond, yep. Wow. There, there is a book out there right now. It's called Lost Connections, and it's a, about our the, the depression and the, all the, the mental health going on across the nation. Yeah. And it's talking about how people, because of not being connected, are absolutely suffering so much. Exactly. And we got part of the answer. Yes. yes. Technology, technology took us and spread us apart. Now, technology, when we use it right, it brings us together. Yes, it does. But it needs, we need to do a lot more because there's a lot of people hurting and, hurt. and a lot of people living on drugs when they don't need to be. Exactly. When all they really want to do is be able to interact and talk with other people. Yeah. Right. So many people sitting there lonely in their one room, in their home, all their life has been lived. And they just wanted to reach out to someone and say, hey, how you doing? And you but what, what better way to do it than with you guys? Oh, my gosh. It's, it's wonderful. <laughs> it is amazing to me that we do it. Look at that beautiful place. Oh, Where else can you go? And we got one guy driving us around the world in his car while he's talking to us, while he's going around doing things in the garden, just like you do, Monica. Yep, I work a garden, I'll tell you. Yep. And he does too. He does that for a living. He helps other people, don't you, Tom? Yep. He helps yeah. other people. That's why everybody. Home health aid. Yes. And where are you at, Tom? Would you share it with the world where you're at and introduce yourself to the world? I am currently uh, in, um, where am I? <laughs> where am I? <laughs> uh, I'm in the car and I'm not used to this area. Um, okay. I'm in Florida. And Merle and Martin Boulevard is, uh, I guess, in, in Melbourne. Well, Tom, you and I are not that far apart, buddy. Yeah. Well, You're he's a lot closer there. to you now than I am. I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, yeah. But he's just he said, me. don't forget Marty. Marty down below. You see Marty, don't you, hon? <laughs> yep. Marty's in Virginia. That's a Virginia boy. That's in Virginia, fellow man. And he's a fiddler from way back. Play, or going to some fiddle concerts. We're talking to Missouri, Florida, Virginia, Florida. And you're all the way up in Minnesota. Well, we're going to have to have some family reunions. <laughs> I, we all can come in here and have lunch together. I'll eat and be shut up for duty if I don't look bad. <laughs> but I'm getting ready to go this when my wife hollers, and she'll be hollering at me here. Any you go out and help go grocery shopping. You all can grocery shopping, right? Right. 
I make it fun. I start throwing shit. <laughs> she hates to take me to the store because I like to throw stuff, you know, to make the baskets. <laughs> she does that. But look, <laughs> this is what really inverted. Would you introduce yourself to the world, my friend? Who? Cool. He's got to think. Marty. Marty's thinking about it. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. Oh, I'm from Virginia. Well, Marty's from Virginia. All we know that he was born one day and he ended up in Virginia and here he lays. And he comes in here every day. Marty every comes in here every day and hangs out with us. So does Thomas. Monica's going to look. She's sitting in the chair out behind that wonderful place. So yeah. we'll she found herself a lawn chair. Yeah. I'm not a lawn chair. I'm sitting outside and it's been thundering for about, oh, half hour. I'm wondering if it's going to rain or if it's not. So, hey, you know what my mama used to tell me? That that was the Lord moving furniture. That was what? The Lord, the Lord was moving furniture. And if you're not nice, the Lord will move it a lot harder. And I was like, ah, the Lord's moving furniture. Yeah. Well, the Lord might be moving furniture, but I know the angels are bowling. <laughs> See? He heard the angels bowling theory. We all have it. Yeah. And this is amazing. And he's driving down the road. You're hanging out in Minnesota. Marty's in Virginia. I'm in, uh, where am I? In the middle of the U.S. of A. In Missouri, I call it. In Missouri. Ron, yeah, Ron's in Florida, the place where you go for a vacation a lot of times. It's got two what, what part of Missouri are you, Chuck? Where? I'm just north of Kansas City, Missouri, where the Pony Express started. It's called the St. Joseph, Missouri. Oh, St. Joseph. Okay, because I'm going to tell you, my daughter and her husband, who were in Belgium for four years, just moved to Junction City, Kansas. Bingo. That's not far away. It's in Kansas on the other side of the old, but I'm on the state line. I can be yeah. in Missouri and Kansas, a dollar to a donut. This is my wife. Yeah, hold on. Hey, dear. Yeah, I was sitting outside, but it folks is eating me up. I'll get right up there. I'll be yeah, upstairs. Like you buy. Here and buy some fight you. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, that's my wife, and y'all just got a recording of it. I'm going out to eat lunch. So what I'm going to do is say, everybody, thank you for hanging out with People Open People Club. I love each and every one of you folks. And everybody, just say goodbye to folks, because I'm going to stop the recording. Say goodbye. Right. Go on. Bye, so peace. Bye. Come on, talk to us. Bye. Bye.